Good evening, we are on Monday the 13th of June 2022, it's 18 minutes past 8 and I've already done some recordings, I'm now going to be sharing with you um, healing prayers for every day, for this day, the 13th, it's day 7 of my ban from YouTube, but I haven't given up recording, I've recorded every single day and tomorrow I'll begin uploading them but it'll take a while because you have to give a description and that takes time typing up but I, on every day I'm banned I've recorded and I'll put them up and I'll keep praying if they ban me again so be it I don't think that YouTube have a right to tell me or any other human being how to pray, what to pray, who for or not for. They live in the flesh, not the spirit. So we won't meet <laughs> in eternity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins because they offend you, not you too. You who are so good, and with your help, I will not sin again against you. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. I dedicate all these prayers to you, Deborah, because you're not online. You're obviously not being used of a phone at the moment. I'll pray that you can soon find a job and you can buy a new phone. I know that one collapsed. So I'm praying that you'll receive help and support and somebody will come looking for you from the Catholic Church, I hope and pray in your area. So for June 13th, the reading is taken from Acts 26, verse 18. Thus, they may obtain forgiveness of their sins and an inheritance among those who have been consecrated through faith to me. The reflection. When I was baptized, I received these same gifts from the Holy Spirit. At confirmation, Jesus again sent the Holy Spirit as to the early church to strengthen me so that I would be an evangelist like Paul. The prayer. Jesus, you blessed Paul with the spirit of the living God, turning your mortal enemy into your humble servant. Bless me that I may see as Paul saw. Proclaim your love as he did and pray as Paul prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you prayers of healing and peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And Deborah, when you do get back online and you manage to get a 
another phone. Remember, I'm praying for you every day and night. I've tried to call your number, but I obviously know it, it isn't working and you haven't yet got another phone. So don't get depressed. Don't get depressed. Just read your Bible, say some prayers, call on Our Lady, call on Padre Pio and Saint Anthony, and I pray for Saint Jude. He's for hopeless cases. My grandson's called after Jude. <laughs> so there are, and and Saint Martin de Paul's is a lovely saint to pray and ask him to intercede for you. So you're not alone. You might feel alone, but you're not alone. We all love you in Jesus' name. And David, I've asked him to pray for you too. I'm sure he will. God bless you.